ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ Assalamu alaikum everyone so continue our um, video satsangs on satisfy philosophy satisfy teaching and as usually i keep in my hands wonderful book divine discourses of bhagavan shri satisai baba that in 1984 uh, the, the most famous 34 lectures discourses on bhagavad gita that's in mm, august and uh, september 1984 mm, quite many people including myself uh, think that um uh, this is exactly the central philosophical message of satyasai that's my opinion as well uh, of course uh, there are many wonderful discourses given by uh, satyasai but that's really something special please pay attention to that 34 lectures here yeah, on bhagavad gita 1984 well of course you can read and i hope you read this discourses yourself but sometimes it's nice to speak to analyze uh, all that uh, teachings together well uh, actually um, um, in some of the chapters the main topic is a uh, mind and sense control so let me quote yeah uh, from uh, such a side divine discourse well um sense control then power of discrimination and knowledge about the atma these three aspects are really important so end of the quote Well, what does it mean sense control? Well, we have um uh five senses and actually mind is the sense number 6 according to the Vedic uh, approach, according to the Vedic philosophy. And uh senses it's a wonderful tools we can experience this world with the help of senses. We may we can uh actually achieve many good ends, good results. be creative for example also because of senses but what is the problem the problem is if senses if we use them just as tools that's great but if that senses just actually tools um, may become boss and then we can easily become slaves of this senses so that's the problem that's reason why in this wonderful divine discourses such a side points that sense control is the very foundation if you able to use your senses and not yeah your senses uh, use yourself that's the the very foundation and unfortunately you know uh, many people many modern uh, contemporary esoteric people who practice meditation teach meditation they just completely forget about the sense and essential thing which is sense control and um yeah for years i'm practicing and teaching kriya yoga meditation i know many kriya yoga meditation schools and um yeah quite often we speak about technique of meditation yeah but forgetting about the foundation so sense control and then the next is discrimination well uh this divine discrimination in sanskrit means viveka okay sometimes um we use sanskrit terminology i think it's very sweet because sanskrit terminology is very powerful vibrationally so it's good to use it well uh, viveka means a uh, divine discrimination between reality and illusion you know if we mix uh, reality and illusion we can be easily confused and that's the beginning of suffering i mean to say if you know what has been real and real is absolute consciousness um you know and what is illusion illusion all this universe if it is illusion it doesn't mean that um universe is bad 
No, no, uh, this cosmos created by God, so it's good actually. You know, it's a stage for our evolution, but it's um, good, but it's illusion. Yeah, and this discrimination is another point um, which Satyasai uh, explains to us. And then the next one, knowledge about the Atma. Okay, let's um, uh, analyze again, uh, understand what does it mean Atma. Okay, Atma is a Sanskrit word which means sometimes consciousness, sometimes soul. And this is a very important uh, word, a Sanskrit word for Satyasai, because actually he's always telling us that, well, who am I, who are you? Actually, not physical body, not even mind, uh, not senses, not emotions, not memory, but um, we are Atma, and the knowledge about this Atma is, um, yeah, top level, uh, experience but again if we speak about knowledge of the Atma okay intellectually that's not really important because we as modern people know many things so we as the modern people know many things because uh, we have so many books so many educational videos we know we know everything Vedanta you know any kind of esoteric philosophy but the question is not about intellectual knowledge but the question is about actual spiritual experience and that's a huge question we have we must actually not just intellectually know something for example i am not physical body i'm not mind i'm not uh, whatever my memory stuff i'm atma i'm consciousness but how to experience that for that we need meditation and um, um, it's another mistake that sometimes people uh, even say devotees uh, pretty sure about such a wrong thing that okay such as I was never you know like speaking about meditation no 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 read carefully his divine discourses for example Soham meditation the most ancient type of meditation which is actually a um, uh, part of Kri Yoga tradition um, and Satisai was always teaching people so how meditation so it means meditation is a really uh, foundation uh, at least okay in a sense of tools again yeah meditation is not gold meditation is a tool uh, but Satisai was always teaching people meditation please remember this as well and um, Another very interesting topic, um, the same page actually, is a freedom. So, human beings, we are fond of freedom, we wish to be free. Uh, but of course, quite often we actually misuse freedom, we don't know what has been freedom. And Satisai again and again clarify this point as well. And he's telling us that we have at least two kinds of freedom. Okay, one type of freedom is um, uh, outside freedom and another one inner freedom. And it's interesting that actually the sign never denies a uh, uh, necessity for the outside freedom. Well, we have to be free. Uh, like for that we need a proper social life. We, we have, I mean... And to have a job, business, support our family, we have to be free, materially, socially, that's outside freedom. We must to develop a proper society, proper community, uh, you know, uh, to have enough money to support our family, that's outside freedom. Yeah, okay. Uh, it it's, it's includes some political uh, freedom as well, but uh, that's not enough, because there are so many people who actually enjoy yeah, pretty well, you know, this outside freedom and they stay in state of depression, you know, like they don't know how to, to exist. Oh, what's wrong? You, if you have um, uh, uh, enough money to, to, to supply your family, if you have, okay, more or less, whatever, political freedom, you can just travel what is the problem why are you in the state of depression so because this is only outside freedom which is not enough because real freedom is inner freedom and that's the message of our 
beloved Swami, inner freedom comes with a proper self-identification. When we think that we are physical body, mind, emotions, then it's a wrong self-identification which leads, okay, maybe to the outside freedom for a while, you know, but that um, never brings peace, bliss, joy. Because only if you able to experience inner freedom, which is, okay, again and again, well, meditation, you have to meditate, contemplate, whatever technique you wish, okay. For our um, Swami Sri Satisai, Soha meditation was the most famous, um, you know, I'm very happy because um, I'm practicing and uh, teach for years, uh, Kriya Yoga meditation and Soham is the very foundation of Kriya Yoga meditation system. Well, I'm very happy that Satisai choose exactly this, the most ancient yeah, meditation system. Uh, he, he never actually mentioned about Kriya Yoga. You know, Satisai never mentioned about Kriya Yoga, but actually he, he taught Kriya Yoga because he taught Soham meditation. You know, okay, you can choose any kind of meditation. For example, uh, Gayatri Mantra Japa, or you can practice any mantra according to your religion, Christian prayer, Muslim uh, prayer, Jewish prayer, Buddhist, Sikh, any kind of prayer. Prayer is also meditation, mantra is also meditation. But if, if you practice meditation daily, then you can experience this absolute consciousness. And while experiencing this absolute consciousness, you can experience real inner freedom. And then you can combine outside freedom and inner freedom. And then that's, that's really balance uh, and that's really perfect life. Okay, Saram, all of you, please practice meditation. Please study, seriously study Satisai philosophy, any discourses, any uh, books, uh, because it's really huge guide. You really, you don't need to create uh, yourself, you know, meaning in your life. We we have such a sign, divine discourses. That's clear um, explanation about where to go, or how to go, what is the goal of spiritual evolution. So just study it and try to apply into your daily life. Saram, see you next time. Tatsavituruvarinyam Bharago Devasya Nimahi Diyo Yonak Prachodayantam